Hello and welcome to Taik. I am Muhammad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about the end to end HR dashboard making it's a real time project in Power BI. Due to the overwhelming response for the sales dashboard which I made earlier it was a great response from your side. Thanks for that. Because of that I am making this another project HR dashboard. This is not going to be a single video, it's going to be a three part video. So stay tuned for that. For information, this series is uncut series. It means uh, it may have some slow in terms of development process because I'm not going to edit it here. It's completely the raw information captured during time of capturing this video. So stay tuned, bear with me for any of the inconvenience caused in this video series. Thanks in advance for that. If you're new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. In the first part of this series, we'll walk through about the dashboard which I have made and then we'll try to understand the data, how it is and what it is. And here's an example of what are the things which we have covered here. It's KPAs and other details covered under employee count by gender, employee count by marital status, Employee count by department, employee count by experience range, employee count by employer age range, employee count by resignation prison, and then salary by gender, salary by salary range, salary by skill level, salary by department and gender. And these are the things important here male and female ratio, employee turnover rate, employee retention rate. And these are the things which is covered under the domain. And what are the things which you have covered in terms of Power BI features? Uh, first is understanding of requirement or the HR domain. Because if you're trying to make any project, understanding of that particular domain is a must. So most of the people doesn't have that experience. So I will cover from that base itself. This will help you to clearly understand the features and what are the things which are going to cover in this videos, in this series. So next is import Excel and modify in Power Query Editor. Then, then calendar table adding of that and relationship between the tables and indication of measures and card visuals, column and stack column chart, line and column chart, infographic visual, which is a custom visual, tree map, bar and stock bar chart, pie chart, matrix, slicer and many more which are going to cover in this video. So this is a short description of how it is and what are things which are going to cover here. Now let's walk through what I have developed so far. So this is a count page. In this page, this is an HR analytics report where this is a card here, employee count and the male female ratio. One is to 3.4 females are there and the employee status and year, these are slicers and these are charts here. And this also is a chart by employee gender and the infographic visual and this is a train map and the count by employee experience this is a grouping of the bins and employee count by employee range employee age uh, is also bin and employee count by department and gender and the next here is the salary is the salary amount so far for the entire company and the employee status and salary by gender salary by skill level and salary by employee count in bins and these are the matrix table here and the next is the analytics is the main thing here is employee turnover ratio and employee retention rate. We can discuss about this in our future videos. So these are things which are covered so far. Now let's go into the data and understand how it is and what it is. So this is the data file. In this, we have the employee code, which is a master for each and every employee, and then the employee name and the gender of them and date of birth date of joining and religion, marital status, employee status, whether they are active or resigned and the last updated time and the department from there we are working and the skill level whether they are skilled, unskilled or semi-skilled and the skill name, they are, what are the roles they are working on and then the salary of them and the CL balance for current year, sick leave balance for current year and the, why the reason behind the resignation. Okay. So these are the data here. Now let's import this Excel file into Power BI. So this is a blank Power BI and then get data from Excel file. 
and this HR data too. The sheet name is working. Clicking on that, it will give you a preview on the right side. So so far so good, and you can now transform the data because we need to modify a little bit here. So we are using the transform data. So now let's compare this with the existing table. Let's click on refresh. Existing Power BI report. Then transform data. This is the one. So promoted headers and then the change type. And change type. And then there is trimmed text. So click on advanced editor to know what it is. So the trim text is the employee status. I have just trimmed the status of the employee status column. So clicking here and employee status. So this is the one. So right click here and then say and transform and then trim. So a trim text here. If there is an extra space in between these wordings, so it will get removed from that. And the next is added conditional column. If you just click on the gear icon here, you may know what you have done. So resignation date is the column name which you have given here. If employee status is equal to resign, then the output is edited time. As we know, the, uh, in this data, as you can see, there is no date of living. Right. So when they have left the company, so it's just we have the data of edited time. So what you can do if the status of the employee is resigned, then we will take this date as a resigned date. Not only I have added this column here. So let's add that in the new file. So going on to the add column and then conditional column. giving it a name, resign date. If the employee status column is equal to resign, then I need here, you can select a column and click here and edit a time or else it can be null. So click OK. At the last, you can see a new column has been added here. Now you need to change the data type of that column because it's not on a date format, it has to be in a date, and then you can trim the text. We'll see that. We'll see that. First of all, just click here and then change to date. This will change the column to date. And lastly, we are done here to advanced editor and there's a Tim text here. It is done to marital status. So marital status, you can just right click here and then transform and then trim as well. Either we can do it one by one or else we can do another way as well. I will show you that. Let's try that. So I'm deleting these two trim text. Yes, delete those two steps. And we are done to employee status and marital status, right? So clicking on the top here because I want to insert a step in this one for query status. So selecting these two columns at once and then right click, right click the column and then transform and then trim. So it is asking, do you want to insert a step? Yes, I want to insert a step. So click on insert. It will add in step. Actually, it has to be on top of that. So you can just drag and drop on top of that. It's done. So now if you look at the advanced editor, the trim step, they have applied to the marital status as well as the employee status. It's easy, right? Even though in my previous file, which I have not done like that, so this is a cool way. So we can do it for the multiple columns at once. Where you have to select the control in order to select the multiple columns. If it is continuous columns, you can select the shift. For example, like this, if this is the one, 
and end of to this one you can just press the shift on the keyboard and click again here to select all the columns you can right click here or if you want to select a specific column like religion and employee status then you need to select the control on the keyboard press the control on the keyboard and then click here so it will select both the columns and right click to do whatever you want cool right so this other thing which we are done we can just rename this table to hr data close and apply so these are the part one of this video series of hr dashboard i hope you got the brief idea about what it is and how it's going to be if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you're new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications if you're not yet a member of our channel just hit the join button to know in detail about it if you have any queries and feedback just post it in the comment section below share it with your friends and colleagues thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video